Hurricanes are giant, swirling storms that form over the world's warmest oceans. These massive weather systems can stretch hundreds of miles across, with their powerful winds spinning around a calm center known as the eye. From space, hurricanes look like enormous pinwheels, their thick bands of clouds spiraling outward in mesmerizing patterns. But while they may appear beautiful from above, hurricanes are among the most destructive forces on Earth. When a hurricane makes landfall, it brings with it incredibly strong winds that can tear roofs off houses, uproot trees, and send debris flying through the air. Torrential rain pours down, often leading to dangerous flooding that can submerge entire neighborhoods. Streets can quickly turn into rivers, and the power of the storm can leave communities without electricity or clean water for days or even weeks. The aftermath of a hurricane can be devastating, with families forced to rebuild their homes and lives from the ground up. These storms form over warm ocean waters, usually in tropical regions where the sea surface temperature is at least 80 degrees Fahrenheit. The heat from the water rises into the air, creating towering clouds and thunderstorms. As the warm, moist air continues to rise, it creates an area of low pressure beneath it. Winds rush in to fill this low pressure, and the whole system begins to spin due to the rotation of the Earth. Over time, this spinning storm can grow larger and stronger, eventually becoming a hurricane. Once formed, hurricanes can travel thousands of miles across the ocean, following paths that are influenced by winds, ocean currents, and even the shape of the coastline. Meteorologists use satellites and computer models to track these storms, predicting where they might go and how strong they could become. Sometimes, a hurricane will weaken and die out over the ocean, but other times it heads straight for land, putting millions of people in its path. We study hurricanes to understand how they work, using advanced technology and years of research to unlock their secrets. Scientists collect data from satellites, airplanes, and weather stations to learn more about how hurricanes form, grow, and move. This information helps us improve our forecasts, giving people more time to prepare and evacuate if necessary. The more we know about hurricanes, the better we can protect ourselves and our communities from their destructive power. When a hurricane threatens, it's important to take action. People board up their windows, stock up on supplies, and make plans to stay safe. Emergency workers and volunteers help communities get ready, making sure everyone knows what to do if the storm hits. Preparation can make a huge difference, saving lives and reducing the damage caused by these powerful storms. After the storm passes, communities come together to rebuild. Neighbors help each other clear debris, repair homes, and restore what was lost. Volunteers and aid organizations provide food, water, and shelter to those in need. The recovery process can be long and difficult, but it also shows the strength and resilience of people working together in the face of adversity. Hurricanes are fascinating and powerful weather events, capable of both incredible beauty and immense destruction. Their swirling clouds and fierce winds remind us of the dynamic forces at work on our planet. Each storm is unique with its own path, strength, and story. They remind us of the awesome power of nature and the importance of respecting and preparing for the world's most extreme weather. The sight of lightning flashing through hurricane clouds, waves crashing against the shore, and palm trees bending in the wind is a powerful reminder of what nature can do. By understanding hurricanes, we not only learn how to stay safe, but also gain a deeper appreciation for the forces that shape our planet. Studying these storms helps us protect our environment, our homes, and each other, ensuring that we are ready for whatever nature brings our way. Hurricanes are among the most powerful and awe-inspiring forces of nature on our planet, and their journey begins in a place you might not expect, the warm, sunlit waters of the ocean. For a hurricane to form, the sea surface temperature must be at least 26 degrees Celsius, or about 79 degrees Fahrenheit. This warmth acts as the fuel that powers the entire storm system, providing the energy needed for its development and growth. Without this heat, hurricanes simply cannot exist. That's why hurricanes are most commonly found in tropical regions, close to the equator, where the sun's rays are most direct and the ocean stays warm throughout much of the year. These areas, often called the hurricane belt, stretch across the globe and are especially vulnerable to these massive storms. The combination of warm water and moist air creates the perfect environment for hurricanes to thrive. As the sun heats the ocean, the water at the surface begins to evaporate, turning into warm, moist air. This air is lighter than the cooler air above it, so it starts to rise, much like steam rising from a boiling pot. 
The process is constant and invisible, but it's happening all the time over warm seas, especially during the hottest months of the year. As this warm, moist air rises higher into the atmosphere, it leaves behind an area of lower air pressure near the ocean's surface. This low pressure zone acts like a vacuum, drawing in more air from the surrounding areas. The incoming air also warms up and rises, continuing the cycle and causing the system to grow larger and more organized. The cooler, denser air from outside the low pressure area rushes in to take the place of the rising warm air. As it moves in, it too is warmed by the ocean and begins to rise, feeding the storm even more energy. This constant movement of air creates powerful winds that spiral inward, setting the stage for the storm's rotation. Each new surge of air that heats up and rises adds to the storm's strength. The process repeats over and over, with more and more warm, moist air being drawn upward, fueling the growing system. The rising air cools as it ascends, causing water vapor to condense into clouds and release even more heat, which further powers the storm. As this cycle continues, the storm begins to spin due to the rotation of the Earth, a phenomenon known as the Coriolis effect. This spinning motion organizes the storm into a massive, swirling system, with a calm center known as the eye. The winds around the eye can reach incredible speeds, and the storm can grow to hundreds of miles across, becoming a true hurricane. Hurricanes don't form at just any time of year. They have a specific season, which varies depending on the region. In the Atlantic, hurricane season runs from June to November, with the peak in late summer and early fall, when ocean waters are at their warmest. During this time, coastal communities prepare for the possibility of these powerful storms, knowing that the combination of warm water, moist air, and atmospheric conditions can quickly turn calm seas into raging winds and towering waves. Hurricanes are among the most powerful and fascinating natural phenomena on Earth, and their structure is both complex and awe-inspiring. To truly understand how a hurricane works, we need to look at its different parts, each playing a unique role in the storm's behavior and impact. Let's break down the anatomy of a hurricane and see what makes these storms so remarkable. At the very center of the hurricane lies the eye. This is perhaps the most mysterious part of the storm. Despite the chaos that surrounds it, the eye is a surprisingly calm and peaceful place. It's almost like a hidden oasis in the middle of a violent tempest, and it can be anywhere from a few miles to over 30 miles wide. Inside the eye, the skies can be clear or only partly cloudy, and the winds drop dramatically. Sometimes the sun even shines through, creating an eerie sense of tranquility. For those who have experienced it, the calmness of the eye is both beautiful and unsettling, especially knowing what lies just beyond its edge. Encircling the eye is the eye wall, a towering ring of thunderstorms that forms the most dangerous part of the hurricane. The eye wall is where the storm's most intense activity takes place, and it's the engine that drives the hurricane's power. Here, winds reach their maximum speeds, often exceeding 100 miles per hour, and rain falls in blinding sheets. The eye wall is responsible for the most severe damage during a hurricane, with violent gusts, torrential rain, and even tornadoes possible within this zone. Moving outward from the eye wall, we find the rain bands. These are long, spiraling bands of clouds and thunderstorms that stretch for hundreds of miles from the center of the storm. Rain bands are a key feature of hurricanes, and they help feed the storm with warm, moist air from the ocean below. Rain bands can bring heavy downpours, gusty winds, and even tornadoes to areas far from the hurricane's core. In fact, the effects of these rain bands can be felt well before the eye arrives, and they often linger long after the storm has passed. Understanding the structure of a hurricane helps us appreciate both its beauty and its destructive power. Scientists use special tools to measure hurricanes. They use satellites to see the size and location of the storm. Weather planes fly into hurricanes to measure wind speed and air pressure. Hurricanes are given names to help us keep track of them. The names follow a specific list, alternating between male and female names. This makes it easier to communicate about and remember different hurricanes, especially when multiple storms are active at the same time. When a hurricane hits land, it brings all its force with it. The strong winds can uproot trees, damage buildings, and create huge waves. Heavy rainfall from hurricanes often leads to flooding. This is dangerous for people and animals living near rivers and coasts. Storm surge is another danger. 
This is a rise in sea level caused by the hurricane's winds pushing water towards the shore. Storm surge can cause major flooding in coastal areas. Hurricanes can have long-lasting effects. They can destroy homes, businesses, and crops. Flooding can contaminate drinking water and spread diseases. Animals can lose their homes and food sources, too. The impact of a hurricane can be felt for months or even years after the storm has passed. Rebuilding and recovering from a hurricane takes time, effort, and resources. It's important to be prepared for a hurricane. Have a plan for where you will go if you need to evacuate. Prepare an emergency kit with food, water, medicine, and other essential supplies. Listen to weather reports and follow the instructions of local authorities. Remember, safety is paramount during a hurricane. Taking the necessary precautions can help protect you and your loved ones. There have been many powerful hurricanes throughout history. Hurricane Katrina in 2005 caused widespread devastation in New Orleans and the Gulf Coast. Hurricane Andrew in 1992 was one of the costliest hurricanes to hit the United States. These storms serve as reminders of the importance of hurricane preparedness and the need to respect the power of nature. As our climate changes, hurricanes are becoming more intense and unpredictable. Warmer ocean temperatures are fueling these storms, making them stronger and potentially more destructive. Understanding hurricanes is more important than ever. By learning about hurricanes, we can work to mitigate their impact and protect ourselves, our communities, and our planet for generations to come.